Healthy sleep is more than simply duration. In this video, we're going to look at the three elements of good quality sleep and healthy sleep. And these three elements are duration, continuity, and depthness. And the reason I picked this topic for today's video is because One Sleep Day is coming up on Friday, the 17th of March, 2023. And each year I'm a delegate of the World Sleep Day to help and support people like you to really improve their sleep, overcome their sleep problems and overcome even their insomnia, which is very much the focus of my work, long-term sleep problems and insomnia. Now, each year, the World Sleep Society that actually hosts and facilitates the World Sleep Day picks a slogan, a theme, so we can really focus our attention on really having those conversations directly with people like you. And this year's slogan is sleep is essential for health. And one of the key messages that the World Sleep Day is going to be focusing on is this idea of really how sleep and healthy sleep is more than just simply how many hours of sleep you actually have. Now that we sort of covered this little introduction and we're going to go into the actual topic of these three different things uh, later on in the video, I actually wanted to welcome you to this video, welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you're already part of my community and you regularly come and watch my videos, then thank you so much for your continuous support. If you're new to my channel, then let me quickly introduce myself. My name is Beatrix Schmidt. I'm a sleep coach, a professional speaker, and the creator of the Sleep Skills for Life program, which is very much my way of helping people like you to overcome their long-term sleep problems and insomnia by developing the practical plan, the tools and the techniques that you need to really ensure that you can create great quality sleep for many, many years to come. Hence, sleep skills for life. So these are all practical things. These are all ways that you can influence your sleep to improve and get better and to be really good quality. Now, if you actually new to my channel, then I would also encourage you to subscribe, hit that little bell so I can let you know when I post new videos and come and join the comment box. Let me know what sleep problems you struggle with, introduce yourself and you can even ask a question and I'm very happy to sort of uh, give you some guidance on where to begin with some of those challenges you might have. Now that we covered that, let's come back to uh, the main topic of the video. So the three key elements of good quality and healthy sleep uh, is duration, continuity and depthness. So let's start with duration. Now a lot of the people that I meet often are not really sure exactly how much sleep they need or the other version that I see quite a lot is they have just decided that they think they need X amount of sleep. And again, this is one of the most common things I see, especially if somebody has struggled with sleep problems for a long period of time. In those cases, of course, it's very understandable that you might think, let's say, that you only need seven hours of sleep or six hours of sleep because historically that's the only amount you actually managed. But it doesn't mean that your body can't improve and change and actually expand the duration. Now, one of the most important things with duration of sleep is that it needs to allow you to wake up refreshed and alert and last the day. If you just sort of getting X amount of sleep, let's say we pick six or seven hours, but you don't actually feel that it's allowing you to really extend uh, your energy levels and your alertness throughout most of the day, then most likely what happens is that you're not really having enough sleep. Again, this is just an assumption. It's really important not to self-diagnose. And if you've got long-term sleep problems, actual sleep assessment from someone like me or a practitioner who is really practiced in the field. But duration is not just what you think, is that really about optimizing your sleep in a way that, that actually can give you that refreshed, recharged feeling in the morning and give you enough energy to last the entire day, both physically, emotionally and mentally as well. So we look at not just physical energy, but being alert to and being able to be emotionally stable as well. So that is the duration 
And just the last bit on that, a healthy adult needs between seven and nine hours of sleep. Now, every one of us will be different. This is why it's important not to jump into just picking a number, but really looking at what your body is showing you. Is the amount of sleep you have enough for you to feel a really good amount of energy and alertness during the day? Now, the second one is continuity. When we look at continuity in, in relation to good quality sleep, what we need to look at is how nicely and easily you transition all the diff between all the different sleep stages without fragmentation. So every one of us will go through different sleep stages across our night. But when you have fragmentation, meaning you actually wake up in between certain sleep stages, whichever sleep stage that is, it's not really the main thing uh, that's important, simply is that your, your sleep is disturbed. You have nighttime wakings that actually really stop you being able to sleep continuously long enough for you to feel refreshed in the morning. Now, when we look at nighttime disturbances, there can be many different reasons why those happen. So again, it's really important not to self-diagnose. There could be health reasons for it. There could be medical diagnosis that you might not be aware of yet. And there can be uh, a lot of different behavioral reasons why you're actually not able to extend your sleep for a long period of time or long enough period of time. And again, nighttime wakings is one of the most common sleep problems that I work with in my practice. Just because you historically woken up a number of times, it doesn't mean that your body and your mind cannot create better. But you've got to address the real reasons why, for example, nighttime disturbances happen. So that's the continuity. You really want to be able to uh, transition between sleep stages to be able to have this really good quality sleep. But it is not about perfection. Just because you might wake up once and perhaps you stay awake for five, maybe 10 minutes, it does not mean that you have ruined your sleep. So again, this is some of those misconceptions that I actually hear from clients. They often put an awful lot of pressure on this perfection of sleep, but it doesn't mean that just because you wake up, your sleep quality cannot be good. Again, on this YouTube channel, you would have seen some of these other videos that I talk about these different things. So feel free to explore those uh, later on. And then we look at the third part, the third element, which is depthness. Now, again, when I speak to clients, um, often people come to me and say, you know, they think they are light sleeper. Now, light sleeping, often how is described by people, isn't quite exactly true in a way that they think is true. Some people have more disturbed sleep, which is what this idea of light sleeping is. But depthness comes from your physical, mental and emotional relaxation, not just one or the other. The way you can really achieve really good deep sleep is your body and your mind really completely transitions into sleep and it's actually able to fully rest. Now, this is again just a sort of very simple way of describing depthness. Um, again, if you want to look into more scientific articles, you're very welcome to do that. But that's how I actually talk to my clients about it. Depthness of sleep will come from your ability to really be able to rest well, be able to fall asleep easily. So you're not frustrated about tossing and turning initially in the, in the night, either just when you trying to fall asleep or in the middle of the night uh, tossing and turning. So those can be both. Depthness comes from really this um, skill set of transitioning from the day into the night and actually separating those two parts of our life. This is probably the more simplistic and practical way to describe depthness. And you will know it. So depthness comes from these elements, but what it delivers is this real, true, refreshed feeling in the morning. When you wake up in the morning and you really feel like you had a really good quality sleep and you're ready to go and actually really uh, do all the things you want to do in the day. So I hope that this video has helped you to 
look at these three different elements of what makes up good quality sleep. Obviously, this was a bit more on the general end. We didn't sort of go into too much details, but when you look at your focus of where you're going to actually sort of look for tools and techniques, I would suggest really start with which part of these three key elements do you actually struggle with? Is it that maybe you fall asleep easily, you sleep through the night, but you don't feel like you had either long enough sleep or the depthness of your sleep wasn't so great? Or if you struggle to fall asleep or maybe you actually wake up in the middle of the night a couple of times and stay awake for a period of time, then maybe what you need to look at is this idea of continuous sleep and really looking at ways to improve that. Every one of you will be in a different place, but it's really good to then pick which one you think you're going to be focusing on and really look at appropriate tools and techniques, uh, appropriate suggestions to that part of sleep. Uh, now, in my practice, I actually really integrate all three of them at the same time, but I obviously bring a lot of that intelligence and a lot of that learning that I had over the years, the tools and the techniques that require that are required to make sure that all these three key elements are actually really there. And if you're interested in checking out any of my sleep coaching services, feel free to come over to my website and you can have a look at them um, depending on what kind of support you need. Obviously, my work is specific to a more behavioral type uh, sleep problem and insomnia. Some of the other sleep problems might be very uh, much medical where you need to go and seek treatment from uh, more of this medical uh, sort of route. But when we look at all three of them, all three of them can be improved, all three of them can be positively influenced, providing you put the appropriate things in place. Now that we've looked at all these three different key elements, um, I wanted to ask you to let me know which bit have you resonated with the most. Come over to the comment box and let me know, is it maybe duration that you're struggling with? Is it maybe the continuity that causes you more issues? Or maybe it's the depthness and you're not really sure how to create that depthness in your sleep. Obviously, if you like this video, then hit that little like button below. And if you haven't yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button below and that little bell so I can let you know when I post new videos. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I'm really looking forward to seeing you in the next video and you being part of my community. So thank you so much.